you got marijuana ads on TV, you've got all this legislation out there, you've got the Attorney General and Treasury coming out and trying to relax rules so that banks uh, can take in dispensary money all across the country. What's going on here? Do you see this as a problem? Well, of course it's a problem, and it's going to be especially going to be a problem for young people and parents. Um, with the commercialization of marijuana, we're going to see a vast increase in marijuana use because the people that are going to commercialize it, once it's legalized, then it's going to be commercialized. So Hang on, don't you see, though, the opposite effect in other countries that have legalized marijuana where they have either a leveling off or a decrease in use of that drug? Well, I don't know where you're getting that information from. Well, you know where from, he's getting that information title. from? He's getting it from actually a... From, from Portugal. Well, that, there, there have been you know, studies I was in a on conference it. And, in Portugal you know, last let me, year, let me just back accurate. up. No, it actually is. And because, you look at the two countries. On. Let that, me that actually, actually did fill in our viewer it. on what exactly Matt's been talking about. So, about 12 years ago, Portugal decriminalized all drugs. So, you do not go to jail if you are, you're not arrested, in fact, if you have anything from heroin to marijuana right now in Portugal. They took all the money that would have otherwise been going into law enforcement and put it into education programs to help people and health programs to help people that were addicted uh, or to try and prevent that addiction from happening in the first place. Uh, I was just over in Portugal just a couple of years ago. I looked at all these statistics myself. I sat down with the health experts and I talked to a variety of young people. What's been amazing is that there has been a drop-off in the number of people that are using marijuana in the youth population. So decriminalization, Portugal would tell you, absolutely works. But you don't think so. No, and you invited me on the show, so I'd appreciate it if I had a chance to develop my points. I was in Portugal last year, and it's not working out as well as you say. You also, if you look at England, which decriminalized marijuana, they've now recriminalized it because they had so many problems with it. My wife is from the Netherlands. When they loosened their marijuana laws there, uh, marijuana use among young people went up 300 percent. They have now recriminalized potent marijuana they put on the same level as cocaine and heroin. So the experience in other countries has been profoundly negative. And we're already seeing bad data coming out of Colorado and the state of Washington. Bad data in what way? Colorado, well, uh, uh, drug driving has gone up. Uh, fatalities involving people using marijuana. Fatalities? Uh, I, I don't in, think there's ever right, actually you been a please let me finish developing my point. Marijuana. No, no. That's not true. We just had a German study come out showing that there has been some deaths from marijuana intoxication. People die from marijuana all the time in industrial accidents, oh. health care related oh, okay. Right, okay. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, uh, but your information is just wrong because there no, no, no. Been a it is of not studies. wrong. It is People not wrong. People do not die from marijuana. People's they do perception, die from alcohol use. Wait a minute. People's perception of marijuana is about 30 years old. It's not the Woodstock weed anymore. It's a lot more potent, a lot more addictive. It's the number one drug that kids are in drug treatment for in the United States. Drug driving and arrest you now. Actually Wait, think would you that please let me finish talking? This? No, no, no. Let me, you let me invited jump in, me here. I, let me finish talking. Do you think that criminalizing California, will actually we now have that. more drug driving due to marijuana than we do drunk driving. So they're very You slow. need to update on your facts. You actually facts think that accurate. if you make this illegal, you're going to stop it or you're going to prevent it? Under the Bush administration, marijuana use among young people went down 25%. If we had that same success record with any other health problem, we would consider it to be an outstanding Yeah, but look success. at the Reagan administration. What's happening, look at the Reagan administration. What's happening right now is a well on drugs, and We actually campaign. found that it was used much, much more. David Evans, we will have you back one of these days. Special advisor to Next the Drug Free America talk. Foundation.